Hey guys, Jason James here, back with Life in Las Vegas, and definitely if you're new to this channel, uh, hit the subscribe button, and also uh, if you're getting value out of this, definitely hit the thumbs up button, it helps our get our video out there, and also the bell button that just notifies you of new videos that are coming out in this channel, especially like live streams, we kind of do one almost every day. Uh, but I just got back from Lake Havasu, that's in uh, Arizona, that's about a two and a half hour drive uh from here to uh, las vegas to there pretty nice place yeah it's a great little uh getaway but not a whole lot of people out there but i'll show you a video anyway of some of it how it looks and it's just a beautiful place uh it's a very robust town there's plenty to do there there's a university there and all that stuff but anyway like havasu is definitely a party place you want to check out for sure but uh basically let's get back into the topic at hand here and we're going to talk about Vegas and Las Vegas. How is Las Vegas going to lure uh, you back to uh, here? How, how are we going to lure you back? And what's going to be different here? Well, there's a lot of things going to be different. So uh, one of the things you can count on is social distancing. Um, you know, markers on the floors and things like that. They're going to kind of keep you aware of this, uh, keep your distance kind of thing all around Vegas, which, uh, which they should in the reopening process of this whole ordeal. And also like that, just to keep you safe. And uh, I'm, I'm for it for sure uh it looks like the win is going to be opening up first both their properties win and uh, encore there but that's going to be also a flagship for a lot of other things going on so they're not expected to open on may 15th but a little bit later maybe a week week and a half uh more so towards memorial day so look for that and also uh what else is going to be different here well when you walk into a casino obviously they're going to have partitions on uh, uh and social distancing with the slot machines and stuff like that so they may turn off every other slot machine and just leave uh seating available for those uh slots that can be played on the on the floor so i think you're going to see a lot of that also the table games and stuff you're going to see el cortez has uh some samples already i'll show you a video but they're also going to uh do the panels uh the plexiglass thing uh, sneeze guards when you play uh, roulette slots craps and all that stuff so they're gonna have barriers for that as well so definitely look out for that kind of stuff do you expect it everywhere well we went to um, stopped at different locations on our way to Arizona just for like a break and stuff like that but most of the service stations that we stopped at or convenience stores um, they had like plexiglass stuff in front of them to protect the workers so i see a lot of that happening everywhere so it's going to be more predominant and more of a new kind of a normal thing if you will and also there's going to be you know what's going to be different on the strip you know if you're walking up and down the strip and stuff like that there might be markers on the sidewalk they do these little sticky things on the sidewalk they can do now uh, probably going to remind you of social distancing as you walk around. Now, I don't expect a whole lot of people coming here in Las Vegas because of flight restrictions and, um, you know, restrictions on uh, if, I don't know if they're going to go as far as to uh, roll out this testing thing where um, you may have to get a test before you leave your country of origin or wherever it might be. Uh, I don't know, but I think most airlines are at least going to provide you with a mask, maybe some sanitizing wipes or uh, the sanitizing uh, gel. So I think they may be providing that for you as a comfort uh, feature for flying with them. So they have to get business going. A lot of other people have to get business going. We're still trying to figure this out. We know this thing is not going away. The, the, you know, the infection itself, the, you know, the thing, I can't mention it on here because I'm, get, I'm getting demonetized every time I say the word. Uh, but every time the CV, uh, it's been multiplying, uh, obviously, and also mutating into these other strains. So that's been in the news. I've got a link down below that'll give you some answers on that and also where I'm getting my sources for that. Uh, kind of uh, uh, new stuff. So I'll leave that down below so you don't think I'm just blowing a bunch of smoke. Uh, but anyway, you know, how is this going to be different? And, you know, how is Vegas going to lure you in? And one of the things they have to, uh, that they're mentioning in some of the news things in around Vegas is uh, cleanliness. And I get a lot of comments on our channel that 
uh, Vegas is like just dirty. This is a dirty Vegas and it'll never be clean. It's always been a dirty place and, you know, because it's Sin City and all this other stuff. But uh, one of the things that they can do inside the hotels, the, the hotels are immaculate. They came very clean, uh, you know, the top ones, obviously. But they keep these places pretty clean. So uh, they're definitely going to increase that uh, cleanliness throughout that uh, property. You know, you know, Mandalay Bay is very clean. Okay. Uh, Luxor probably could do a little bit better. Um, MGM definitely better. It, all their properties basically can do way better. Now you look at the Wynn Encore and Venetian Palazzo, all these top, you know, tiered uh, hotels and casinos, they're obviously pretty clean. They're going to do way better for you. They're going to obviously, if you're staying there, they're going to offer, um, they're going to offer masks. They're going to offer uh, hand sanitizer and some, maybe some wipes. I don't know. In that, in those three, not necessarily in that, uh, or I don't know if it's going to be wipes or sanitizer or whatever it might be, but they're going to offer you something. Uh, for staying there. They have to make you feel safe and comfortable there. So that's the whole thing. They have to change their marketing uh, idea. You know, what happens here stays here. You know, that was a slogan. Uh, what happens in Vegas, only Vegas, you know, that was their other slogan, but they're gonna have to come up with another one. And that's gonna be like safe, keeping you safe and aware, uh, you know, some sort of like awareness of your safety and how clean it is. Um, so they're going to work on marketing with the cleanliness of Vegas. So you're going to see a lot of like commercials and ads that are probably marketed to your, you know, wherever you live in the country or, or outside the country. But to get a, you're going to see a lot of ads and how clean it is, how clean properties are, what they're doing to allure you back into Vegas and spend your money here because you may be a you might be a card holder or might you know for their uh, hotel casino but anyway Vegas will be the new clean if you will you're going to get people that you know have given up on Vegas there's not traveling here because of resort fees and all this other stuff fees 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 and all this other um stuff that Vegas should not be doing but they're doing it but I don't see resort fees going away I think that's just going to be it's here to stay it's already there it's a shame I know and that really turns off a lot of people that come back to Las Vegas parking fees now that I see for changing um because when Vegas starts to open up slowly they're going to get a lot of um traffic you know from california arizona utah all these other places are going to come in here and so it is going to be a traffic thing first i think vegas advantageously should eliminate parking fees altogether let these people come in let them feel safe in your hotel i know it's like a lot a lot of things to ask but You've never had parking fees before. Let's let's get rid of that and let's see what happens. Uh, you know, you're probably going to get more people visiting your uh, properties. You know, especially if they're staying there. I would imagine people that are coming here are staying here. Now the pool situation, uh, they are going to open their pools. They are going to have social distancing and all these uh, markers and signages and stuff like that in the pool. So you can still relax in the pools. Spas, spas are going to um, take some time to reopen, you know, a spa if you're getting a massage or or whatever it is you're getting, a pedicure, manicure, or whatever. Um, so you're going to have, uh, that's going to be a little later down the road for opening up spas and stuff like that. And uh, let's see what else is on the list here. And also nightclubs. Nightclubs, it seems like they're just kind of going to be a thing of the past. Even though they got these awesome venues here, they can't utilize them. They're, it's going to be something that's going to mi be missed here for a while. Even like a EDC, it's been pushed back. They're even offering refunds for people that cannot make it to those uh, October dates that they're uh, setting there. It's like this 4th through, fourth through the 6th uh, um, dates in October. But... Um, yeah, even they are like, well, we're still going to give refunds because people can't make it. 
But there's all kinds of other things that we have to juggle. We got to juggle like outdoors NASCAR. You you know, you got that stuff. You've got uh, concerts. You've also got football. You know, the Raiders are going to be starting their September uh, season here. And they have to get ready for that. And how is that going to be managed and stuff like that? Is it just going to be let people in? Are they going to test at the uh, test temperatures and temperature checks or thermal imaging cameras and uh, maybe dog sniffing um uh, that can you know smell CV or whatever it might be. They are training dogs for that. Um, so there's all kinds of different like contingency uh, protocols that Vegas is looking out for to uh, keep your safety in mind and protect you from you know getting an illness here. We don't want that. Obviously, I I've reiterated this uh, stuff back in past videos, uh, but that seems like the same thing over and over. Your safety is paramount here. Um, and also Fremont Street, they're going to be doing a lot of protocols as well. So El Cortez is kind of setting the stage, like, here's what we're doing. Some of these other places down the street are going to have to do the same thing on Fremont, obviously. But it has to happen. There's no way around this. There's because it's people love to like sue here. Like if you get injured, fall or slip and you injure yourself in a hotel or something like that. That's a lawsuit for, and they typically they'll settle out of court. But the last thing I want is someone to get sick and possibly perish from uh, this illness that is uh, very, very uh, serious. And and I guess it depends on your uh, your health, your state of health, and uh, things like that. But and there's probably some other lying issues as well, but I can't get into that. I can't talk about that stuff. But if you want to go to my Patreon page, that's where I get into more of the CV kind of stuff. And we kind of pick it apart and uh, we just give it a, a, a thorough rinsing and see where, where the cards lay. And also uh, go in with an open mind. So if you want to click on the Patreon page, I do go into some stuff that's more... Uh, a little controversial, some of the stuff that make you question and give you some thought-provoking kind of uh, stuff for you there. Uh, but that's up to you. Uh, I will have some other stuff. I will be doing podcasts. So it won't be just video. It'll be more like podcast stuff so you can listen to stuff. Um, so there's that. So if you want to do that, that's great. If you want to donate to this channel, you can go to this PayPal link in the description of this video. Definitely appreciate that. I give everybody a credit at the end of the videos, whether they donate on patreon or the paypal thanks but the most easiest way to donate to this channel but if you got value out of this video you guys about the safety and how vegas is going to allure you back into you know vegas as far as staying vacationing uh you know having a relaxing time here will it happen over time i think it will i think vegas will bounce back some people are like oh vegas is just gonna have this giant explosion of uh welcome back we're back open and i don't think it's gonna be like that i think it's gonna be like we need to tiptoe our way through this and just kind of see where it's going because if it starts to spread again and, and it points to us we're in big trouble because there's so many people that come in here to rely on their safety, to rely on having a good time. Uh, people do spend big money here, so that's a big issue as well, is, is are they gonna spend their hard-earned vacation money back here in Vegas? We don't know. Definitely leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about coming back to Vegas, safety protocols. Uh, what does Vegas have to do to make you feel safer when you come here? Not just going through the airport, but when you get here, what has to happen? Whether it's you're taking your cab ride or Uber or Lyft, what needs to be in place to make you guys feel safe? Or are you the type of person that just gets off the plane, gets in the car, get me to my hotel because I've got business to take care of. I've got things to do, whether you're getting married, bachelor bachelorette party going to all these events and all that stuff i don't expect entertainment obviously to come back right away but that's going to be later in june we'll talk more about that later but definitely like subscribe share this and we'll see you guys definitely in the next video okay take care of each other <music>